Welcome to more Tools and Sense. This is the show where I spend hundreds of hours building the stuff that nobody needs. Today we're going to be building this rolling spinning platform that also has an extra special trick up its sleeve. The gift of height. Well, this is the platform we're going to be starting with. This is originally a sort of a weird knockoff Segway type deal, and it didn't actually balance itself. It had just a third rotating wheel at the front like a shopping cart. Now, I cut that off and made it into this oversized sort of remote-controlled car, and that was actually part of a Halloween costume. Now, we're going to be converting it back to the original front wheel setup so that it can be more compact, and we're going to make it so that you can stand on it. She'll be able to rotate. We're going to hopefully be able to hide the hand controls inside of her costume pretty well. And then we're also going to be adding a scissor lift on top so that she'll only be a few inches off the ground, but will be able to rise up hopefully as high as two feet once she activates the lift. So let's get started with this build. What I'm working on right now is trying to control the forward, backward, and turning motion of the vehicle. Now, the original toy had this thumb switch, and inside of it, as I pulled it apart, there's a sensor, uh, which is a, seems to be a resistor that cuts the voltage in half. I'm putting six volts in right now, three volts come out. Now, if I take these two magnets that are part of the thumb switch and move one closer, I end up with a higher voltage. If I move the other closer to the opposite side, I end up with a uh, lower voltage. So what I'm going to try to do is now take this apart and then install it in a glove which is going to allow you to put your thumb together for on and then slide your thumb further or closer to the sensor for higher or lower speeds. Now the gloves were a really cool concept, but they had problems for sure. Partly because it was a little bit hard to get them started, but mainly because if you open your hand, it defaults to half speed. Now these spring-loaded clips will return to zero when you let go. Now that the platform rolls and turns, it needs to lift. And for that, I'm going to build a basic scissor lift with some linear actuators. Thank you. 
I needed to add some foot controls. First of all, I needed this large switch to make the platform lower and raise, so I didn't need to use my hands for that. And then second of all, I needed these reversing switches. These are toggle switches, so I click them down, and then that makes everything roll backwards. You can put on your best costume and head to a costume party. Or wait for the trick-or-treaters to come to your house and scare them. Or maybe you just get bored while your kids are taking karate class and you want to frighten some children there. Yes, sir. Oh, what? Oh, there's a person. <laughs> <laughs>
whatever use you might find for this platform, I think we can all agree that I have more tools than sense. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe.